Amazon has just released the Echo Dot fourth generation. It's got a dramatic new look compared to previous models, but does that look equal better performance? Are there new features compared to last year's model? And if you currently have an Echo Dot, is it worth the upgrade? That is what we're gonna be talking about in today's video, so stay tuned. So Amazon has moved away from the hockey puck look like they had in previous models and has something more similar to a ski ball. This new Echo Dot has the same footprint as previous models, but now it's twice as tall. Even with this size increase, it still feels small like previous models. When this new design was first announced, I wasn't a fan at all. I thought it was gonna be a big eyesore that everyone was gonna be noticing, but now that I have seen it in person and seen how small it is, I actually like it. Another change was moving the light ring from the top of the device to the bottom of the device. With that move, the light now reflects off the surface, which makes the light seem bigger and brighter than it was before. However, depending on where you put it, you might have a harder time seeing that light ring. With this new round design, the buttons are slightly back from center, which hides them when you're looking at the device straight on, but still leaves them accessible if you walk up and need to use them. Now, I was worried that the buttons were gonna be awkward to use seeing as they're sitting on top of fabric, but after using them, I found they were really clicky and just as easy to use as previous models. In addition to all of the changes with the Echo Dot Gen 4, it now has a new AZ1 chip, which Amazon claims to have lower power consumption and faster speech processing. But after comparing it to last year's model, I really didn't see a big difference. So with its new, bigger design, you would assume better audio, right? Well, you would be correct. Even though it does still have the 1.6 inch speaker that the Gen 3 had, it now has a front firing speaker, which gives it a clearer, more directional sound, where the Gen 3 had a downward firing speaker that reflected sound in all directions. With the new speaker placement, the most noticeable difference was in the vocals. Alexa, what's the weather? Right now in Lake Forest, it's 66 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today's forecast has lots of clouds with a high of 73 degrees and a low of 61 degrees. So if you listen to audiobooks, podcasts, anything with a lot of vocals in it, you're really gonna appreciate that front firing speaker. Now, in addition to the new design with that front firing speaker, it also seems to have better microphone placement. It still has the same four mics like the Gen 3, but it seems to respond the first time from across the room Unlike the Gen 3, where I had to occasionally repeat the wake word a few times for it to hear me. Alexa. Echo. Echo. So with this year's redesign also comes a new color and versions. The Echo Dot comes in three different colors. We've got charcoal, glacier white, and twilight blue. Now they've also got the Echo Dot clock. This is the same look of the Echo Dot, but it has a clock built into the face so you can see the time. With this one, you've got the options of Glacier White or the new Twilight Blue. They've also got kids versions. Now with the kids versions, you can either get the look of a tiger or a panda. And the kids versions are also gonna come with Amazon Kids Plus. This is gonna provide more kid-friendly content to that device. Like with previous Echoes, you can use this device to play music, set timers and alarms, get weather and traffic, and control your smart home devices. I've got several routines set up to control the lights in my yard. I've also got a good night routine to get my daughter ready for bed. Setting up routines is really easy to do and Amazon does a great job of guiding you through that in their app. With Amazon being probably the biggest name in smart home tech, there are thousands of different companies that have devices that work with Amazon. Now, with all of these improvements, should you get one or upgrade to one? Well, that's gonna depend on how much you value crisp, clean audio. If you're using your Echo a lot for music, podcasts, audiobook, then yes, this is gonna be worth the upgrade. But the third gen is no slouch either. It has a very capable speaker that might sound muffled, but it is more than capable of getting the job done for setting alarms and timers and turning your lights on and off. If you are getting an Echo Dot for the first time, yes, the fourth gen is worth it, and I would definitely recommend picking that one up. If you are looking to upgrade, then yes, I would still say it is worth it. Having the better audio and the clearer vocals is worth it in my opinion. 
One thing to mention too is that if you currently have an Echo Dot, you can trade that in to get a discount on this new one. So if I go to the website and go to purchase this, down below the buy is going to be a trade in button. If you click on that, you can trade in an old version. Not only are you going to get money for that trade in, but they're gonna give you a 25% discount on the new dot that you're buying. So for me, I have a trade in of a Gen 2 dot that I'm going to turn in to purchase. I'm gonna get a $5 credit for that, plus the 25% off. I'm gonna be able to pick up this thing at a much cheaper price, which is also why I think it's a good idea to upgrade to this newer version. So with everything that we talked about in today's video, are you gonna be picking up a new version or is there something that you like better? Let me know in the comments below. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Sometimes I make this life thing harder than it needs to be. So many lights, 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 we lose light, light, light. Don't let them go to waste. Look into my